Good morning, YouTube. Thanks for coming along this little canyon journey here with me. I have something to talk about today. This issue it means a lot to me. It's something I've had to deal with all my life that you may not even notice. Sometimes you will. Sometimes it doesn't even show. The topic at hand is speech impediments. To be more accurate, it is a stuttering. I've been, I've been stuttering all my life. Or since I was a, a wee lad. It was to a point that I couldn't even speak. That was so bad. It did not even matter. It, it was so bad that I wasn't able to uh, openly converse with people. That was the worst part, being in a social situation and not being able to actually converse with anybody. It, it's the worst. It's terrible. If somebody asks you something and you can't leave that traffic, you say, and you can't express yourself, you can't give your opinion, The main thing that I want to bring awareness to is that people think, oh, it's your fault, da, da, da. no, it's really not. You can control it, as I was always told growing up. Different family members of mine also stutter pretty bad. And they also said, you know, as you get older, you learn how to control it. You learn how to overcome it. Just like anything in life that gives you hardships, you learn how to overcome it and come up top. There was points, you know, growing up that I would get very frustrated with myself. I'd have a, a good, good conversation going, a good idea to, 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 to get out, and I couldn't get it out. So it would be lost. So people would try to finish my sentences as if I needed that help. I don't need help finishing sentences. It's not cute. It's not helpful. It's frustrating to those who have speech impediments. It, they can speak just fine. It, most of them, the mental capacity is well above average. Well above average. But when it comes to, and I got used to kids. The kids growing up in my life and that kind of stuff, making fun of me, poking fun of me. Kind of get used to it in a way, I guess. Get used to the ridicule. You build a tough skin. After years though, couldn't take anymore. But now when you get into high school and then you still got people ragging on you. The people you've grown up with still seriously not understanding the concept of a speech impediment. There's a whole other aspect to life that, that they don't understand. You have to toughen up. I had to really toughen up and you know, being a white guy in a medicine school. I had to completely... I had to fight my way you know, just to get respect. Hello. So I had to find my way to get respect. I'm not really proud of it, but I'm proud of what I accomplished. Turn that off. But my 
biggest issues also is when you get into your adult life, your professional life, you get people in the professional setting laughing the first time they hear you stutter, making fun of it. That doesn't fly with homie, I'm sorry. That does not fly. Regardless of your position ranking in whatever professional environment it is, you're going to hear it from me. I've always wanted to get into stutter, at, stutter advocacy, if you will. I know I butchered that. I don't know why I never did it. This is a shout out to all of those who do ride bikes, want to get into motor vlogging, or just or just watch the videos. And it, maybe you have a hard time uh, speaking as well. Maybe you have a speech impediment as well. In some fashion. I know there is different degrees, different everything to it. I know this. I encourage you to get out there. Speak. Speak your mind. Do not let other people hold you down. That that's going to cause you more harm than yourself. Than you yourself not getting out there and and just holding yourself back. The horses and stuff. Huh. And an events going on down here today. Interesting. Oh yeah, there I go again. Oh shiny. But don't let other people hold you back. Speak your mind. Get out there. Show them who's boss. People need to hear your voice. With that, I'm going to let you go.